Yo, so there has been a lot of uh, viral controversy behind uh, Pastor Chris and Anita Oyakilome. So there are different publications that have been writing this story over the years. Actually, it's quite it's been quite uh, a long stretch. But now, finally, finally, Pastor Chris addresses the media now concerning everything, concerning everything about uh, his stand and Anita Oyakilome as well. So I just had to share this video just to bring these uh, to the light. And uh, there's something else that Pastor is really uh, speaking about that is quite uh, profound. So I'll ask that you watch this video until the end. And then later we'll just get back and actually just review it. Uh, uh, houses, particularly in Nigeria and, and maybe in South Africa, I don't know, but there are some of them who have been writing some real stupid things. Real stupid things. And uh, what frivolous charges. That's crazy. A man of God, you have to understand something about a man of God. A man of God is not just someone who worships God or who preaches God. A man of God is handpicked by God. Hallelujah. Set on course by God. If you study the scriptures, you will not find one man of God going against God, sinning against God, the only things you might find will be a man of God, maybe in two, two, two different things. One, Moses, for example, when he struck the rock twice, provoked by the anger of the people, not because he wanted to do something against the Lord. No man of God does something against the Lord. Are you hearing me? No. A man of God is set on course. This is, this is a type of life that he is given. All right? Then you have a young man, a, a young prophet. He wasn't named. He was deceived by another man of God. And so he went in the direction God said, don't go. That's the only kind of thing you find about a man of God. When he misses the message of God or he acts beyond what God said but a man of God setting himself in defiance against the word and living like they're writing those stupid things about me that I did this and I did that you don't know who a man of God is I don't go in that direction that seems crazy I wasn't accused of the things you said nor did I commit those stupid things that you said See, and I don't need to go into that level in such discussions. Jesus Christ was accused by many. Lots of frivolous charges. There will always be those who would like for it to be true. But you know, in spite of the accusations against Jesus, he didn't change who he was. He didn't change who he was. There are preachers and there are men of God. Yes. I'm not a preacher. I'm a man of God. I understand the difference. See? And I go in the way I'm asked to go. It may cause some trouble with individuals. But that's not because I've done something wrong. See? That's not because I've done something wrong. And when it comes to Reverend Anita, what I would say to you, pray for her. Don't act like, why, 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 she? If you're married to a man of God, it doesn't make you automatically mature. You, you can make mistakes. You can do something that's wrong. But, you know, people expect the wife of a minister to definitely be at the level of that minister. And so they may be looked upon and the expectations may be like that. It's a positional thing, all right? It's a positional thing. Uh, if a man of God is married, it doesn't automatically mean that the wife of the man of God is therefore a woman of God. That's not the way it is in the Bible. That's why you don't really find the wives of men of, men of God mentioned in the Bible. How many of them? 
Who was Peter's wife? Did you know her name? You, you never found out. Who was John's wife? Did you ever read the name? What about the, all the other apostles? How many of their names are written in the Bible? You never found their names. Why? Ask God when you find him. <laughs> See? So, um, they're little things, and don't try to make something big out of them. And we're journeying, doing the things that God's called us to do. Christians should not have a divorce. It shouldn't be. But you see, that doesn't mean a Christian may not take the step. They may do it, but that doesn't make it right. And we shouldn't take one another to court. But when it happens, not because we want to go there, someone's taking us there. That's a problem. But be wise and, and stay focused in the Word of God. And don't let those who want to fist on things like this, including Christians, you know, the, the Christians who like things like this, they want to make something big out of it. And say, yeah, 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 we said it. What you said, what? <laughs> you, you, you should only say those things that are from God yes. and become honorable in your speech. Yes. All right? And judge nothing before the time. Glory to God. Be wise. Glory to God. So we're going greater and greater and greater by the power of the living Christ. Hallelujah. So we're not walking in sin and living in sin and hoping that we can mix sin and righteousness together. No, we are the manifestations of his righteousness. We walk in that light only. Hallelujah. And that's the way it's going to be. Glory to God. Yeah, so uh, something else is that I don't know why that uh, people are always like very concerned, especially with the petty things. They really always just try to find fault uh, on someone. So Pastor Chris has really blessed us over so many years with our very beautiful messages and revelations and everything. And uh, actually even my own my own spiritual growth where I, I received Jesus was actually from Christ Embassy. That is uh, Pastor Chris Church. That is my church. That is where I received Jesus and uh, it's quite a blessing. So our main focus should not be really on those petty matters like the videos I've been seeing even uh, circulating. Like there's another video I saw of uh, Daysman or Akilome and then they're trying to bring Pastor Chris to all that actually all that drama and everything i don't i don't know even how how legit that video for daymans or Kilome is how legit that is dayman is actually the son is the son to pastor chris elder's brother yeah for i think he's the son for his his race or culture son because uh, pastor chris doesn't have a son he has daughters there are two of them one got married the other day yeah so but anyway people are bringing in a lot of uh they're bringing a lot of situations. They're bringing a lot of petty, just petty, just create, making a petty matter to be actually very big and very huge. These are petty things. They should not be on our focus. Our focus should be on actually the revelations. Like, for example, there just are uh, some re recent revelations. I don't know if you have been following your love world or even the actually the, the, even even if even the recent concluded rapathon that where pastor chris was just speaking about what's about to happen uh on the internet what is about to hit the internet i don't know if you've seen that if you have not yet seen that let me know uh right there in the comment section it's a video that i'm interested to do and i'll do it and i'll just inform you in good detail of exactly what is about to hit this world so those are things that we need really to focus but on um, these uh, petty matters should not be our focus and i love how pastor uh, actually brought a clear a clarity on the definition of who a man of god is he is not just a preacher but he is a man of god that is a man that is sent from god that is a man that hears from god that is a man every step he takes is a step that is actually god intended i wanted to say is a step of god but i know i know some people might just come for me hard right there in the comment section but both of them are accurate so yeah so that's what's up i like to hear what you think about this right there in the comment section but it's a good thing that uh, 
pastor finally addressed this matter. So let me know what you think about this right there in the comment section. Stay blessed and see you in the next video.